let's say I want to design a bracelet and I want to have the elephant sort of flipped in different ways. What I'm going to do is select a background color, put down a background color. I'm going to select my elephant, move him up, hold down Alt and drag him down. I'm going to flip him vertically because I think that'll look better, but uh-oh, look at this. He took the beads that were there and brought them with him. And now we've got a gap in the canvas. So that's not a problem. I could fill it in like that. But this is the first point that I want to make, is that when you use the transform tools, they'll overwrite and leave blank anything that was in their wake. So if you don't want to deal with filling in, there are a couple ways that you can do this. I'll go back. The first way is probably the simplest. I'm going to move him up, hold down Alt, make a copy, hold down Alt again, make a copy, take this one, flip it vertically, I'll move him up a little to, to get better space in between them. Now I'm going to select all of them. Now that I've set them up the way I want, I can drag them all over and they're not overwriting anything. I don't have to fill in anything. And my bracelet's set up like that. So that's one way. So another way to do it would be to move him over. And rather than just flipping the selected beads, which would leave a gap and some empty beads in its wake, I am going to make a new selection that includes the background. And now when I drag it down, again, I held down Alt. And then now I flip it, and that's fine. The background is flipped with it, and I don't have any gaps. So I'm going to show you one more thing about the transform tools and how they work and how they overwrite beads. I'll select the whole bracelet. This is probably the easiest example, clearest example. And now I'll rotate left, and you can see a bit of this elephant is cut off, and this part of the bracelet's cut off. I'm going to rotate it again and you can see that it's <laughs> it's picked up the beads and they're not there anymore. That's because it's not covering it and the, the gray beads aren't there underneath. It's rewriting it and the same thing. If you go off the canvas it will crop it like that. So how can you avoid overwriting beads you don't want to overwrite? I'll go back. Here we are. What I do is if I'm going to be transforming things. I make sure I've got plenty of room. I'll take this one up, move it so that it's <laughs> got lots of room to move. It's not going to be cut off by the canvas. It's not going to overwrite anything that's near it. So transform tools are pretty straightforward, but do keep in mind that they can overwrite beads and to give yourself plenty of room if you're working with them.